This video is all about modifying my Tesla Model 3 long range. This is part two, let's get into it. So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? As you can see, it's actually a nice sunny day for once. It's so hot and sunny, Rusty has got the air conditioning on to cool down the cabin. And that's something that I'd strongly recommend you check out on your Tesla app, because um, I did actually break a rear screen because uh, I didn't actually put it on before. Uh, just a little tip there. Now, a lot of developments have been happening. Let me turn around the camera and tell you what's been going on. So essentially, last week, um, I lost my job um, I say lost my job but I'm on two months gardening leave so my situation financially has changed somewhat and um, I've got quite a lot of updates for you on the parts but never fear I am still taking part in making sure we upgrade Rusty uh, to make it more of a fast road performance vehicle so let's start with the suspension and what's happening with that so as you know, I uh, got the mother load of parts uh, as per the last video and you haven't, if you haven't seen it, I'll put the video up on the screen. But this is a set of unplugged performance race coilovers and um, I was basically a little bit unsure what these springs are all about. And after talk, well, after doing lots of research and with the help of Clive, because he is the man when it comes to all things modified parts, I found that these Swift Spring uh, 120, and Swift Springs are a really good brand by the way, uh, the 120 basically uh, tells us how uh, firm the springs are. And 120 is actually on the firm side. And I was thinking, hang on a minute, the uh, person that sold me the coilovers said that they had soft springs. This is where the plot thickens. So, you know those IBAC springs that I wasn't sure what they were? Um, let me show you them and tell you why I didn't know what they were and a little bit of a faux pas on my part, which I want to rectify. So let me turn you around again and show the springs and explain what I mean. So these springs here, IBAC springs, I assumed, wrongly, that these were a direct replacement for the Tesla Model 3 springs, but they are not. Because when I checked the um, code here, um, it actually transpires that they are replacement springs for coilovers. And these particular coilovers are a 70, which is a softer spring. So the chap that sold me the coilovers, I should have got more detail from him at the time it was a bit of a rush job times of the essence when uh, you got such a good deal on your hands let's be honest um, that the 120s versus the 70s the 120s are more for track really firm and then the 70s are more of a comfort ride so basically I've offered free springs to everyone on YouTube and they're not replacement what an idiot I've been now first of all I was completely mortified because I didn't want to let down any new subscribers and my current subscribers but don't worry because I've got a bit of a plan and so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna sell those coilovers because I think I could probably get a pretty penny for them because um, to actually import those just the coilovers without the upgraded or softer springs you're talking about two and a half maybe 2700 including you know, import duty, tax, and you know, delivery, and all the rest of it. Um, so I'm going to put those on eBay. So anyone that wants some coilovers with optional soft springs, I mean, what a great setup! I don't think I'm going to utilise them. And again, I'm relying heavily on not just Clive, but also on a lot of the reviews out there for the type of driving that I'm going to be doing. I think I need a softer setup. Um, plus the fact that obviously, as I mentioned before, in my job situation probably do with the money. So that's the suspension uh, information out of the way. Let me put you now into the brakes. So we've still got the discs here. They're getting fitted on Friday and the video will be coming uh, in the next couple of weeks for that. Got the calipers here still and I've got the brake pads. So 
I've actually gone for some pretty hardcore. <laughs> There's me saying that I'm not going to go for the hardcore coilovers, not going to utilize them on track. These are pretty much track uh, pads. They're Carbotech Europe XP8s. Um, I'll put the spec on the screen. Um, again, I mean, they're a couple hundred quid and, uh, you know, they're, I think, 240-ish quid. I actually bought them just at the same time as I lost my job. So I am still going to fit the brakes because, you know, I've still got these. It's, it's, I think it's a bit of a no-brainer to upgrade the brakes on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep going with the brakes. So video will be coming soon for that. Now, there's a box missing. And that box is the Boost 50 Engine X. Now, it's fitted. And a video will be coming very soon for that. I just want to finish off a few bits, but um, yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to tell you about it because I don't want to spoil the video. But it's fitted, and yeah, you'll find out in a video very soon about how to fit an Engine X Boost 50 and the results, which is all important. So that leaves us with one thing, um, other than the anti-roll bars, which I've put to the side for now, and some kind viewer. Uh, did highlight that they are an upgrade um, one of them more so than the other one and again I I will probably end up fitting those at some point they're not that important right now but um, but yeah I'm sure I'll fit those I'll put them in the uh, corner of the garage and uh, we'll get them fitted at some point but most importantly what about you guys you know I said that I was going to give away these springs I haven't got any springs anymore and you might be notice, you might have noticed that I've missed out one of the boxes. So let me turn around the camera and explain what I plan to do. So those lovely pornographic um, billet adjustable rear camber arm set version three for model three and Y. Oh, someone said in the comments that they uh, fancied them for the Y. So hmm, interesting. So I don't think I'm going to fit these. I mean, these are worth like $400 I think I saw them for about 300 quid uh, UK and then it will be plus delivery and stuff um, I'm gonna ask you guys uh, there's definitely no girls maybe like one on the channel but who would prefer unplugged performance camber arms or some lowering springs because what my thought is is whack it in the comments if you want the camber arms for me to give it in a, you know do a giveaway on the camber arms put in the comments camber arms if you want lowering springs put in the comments lowering springs and what I'll do is I'll probably sell these and with the money uh, I'll put it towards finding some lowering springs um, so that is my plan I hope you like my plan if you've got an alternative plan I'm well up for it because like I said I don't want to uh, I don't want to let you you know you guys down in terms of uh, being able to modify your vehicle with some free parts like I said I've, I got such a, an amazing deal from the guy that I bought the coilovers off it's a bit of a sad state of affairs really um, uh, with regards to the job loss but you know I'm sure something else is gonna come up um, you know I'm sure I'll bounce back, that is for sure. Uh, you might notice that charge heads might start doing a few more things in terms of generating some revenue. So if you uh, need some EV advice, uh, or if you need any advice with DC charging or charging per se for vehicles, then please get in touch, chargeheads at gmail.com. Um, I'll put the email at the bottom of the screen uh, because I'm really happy to give my advice out uh, I'm going to do something next next week, put it out there on the socials, just to kind of offer my services while I get another job. So, so yeah, that that's it really. I hope uh, that's been uh, a pleasing update for people. Like I said, we've got the Engine X Boost 50 video coming soon. Then we'll have the video on the brakes, and then I'm going to work out what I'm going to do with the suspension. I mean, if you think I should just sell the camber arms and keep the money, then. That's great too, but like I said, I don't want to let anyone down uh, on the channel, but rest assured there are more videos coming soon with Rusty, with modified parts and updating them and just giving you a review. And I can't wait to test out all these new things that uh, are going on the car. So thanks for listening. See you next time.